Hello everyone, in this video we will present frequency, random response, vibration, analysis for shield with hole using abacus. A random response analysis, is a linear perturbation procedure that gives the linearized dynamic response of a model to user-defined random excitation, and uses the set of modes extracted in a previous eigenfrequency extraction step to calculate the power spectral densities of response variables, stresses, strains, displacements, etc., and the corresponding root mean square, RM MS values of these same variables. Please if you have any request or question contact me in my page Facebook or my email, thanks. Random response analysis predicts the response of a system that is subjected to a nondeterministic continuous excitation that is expressed in a statistical sense by a cross spectral density matrix. Since the loading is nondeterministic, it can be characterized only in a statistical sense. The load can be defined as concentrated point loads, as distributed loads, as connector element loads, or as base motion excitations. The random response procedure is based on using a subset of the modes of the system, which must first be extracted by using the eigenfrequency extraction procedure. The number of modes extracted must be sufficient to model the dynamic response of the system adequately. The model can be preloaded prior to the eigenfrequency extraction extraction. Initial stress effects are included in the stiffness used in the eigenfrequency extraction if geometric nonlinearities are included in the general analysis procedure used to apply the preloads. Defining the frequency range. You specify the frequency range of interest for the random response procedure. The response is calculated at multiple points between the lowest frequency of interest and the first eigenfrequency in the range, between each eigenfrequency in the range, and between the last eigenfrequency in the range and the highest frequency in the range as illustrated in figure. The default number of calculation points in each interval is 20, you can change this number when you define the step. Accurate RMS values can be obtained only if enough points are used so that abacus standard can integrate accurately over the frequency range. The bias function allows the points on the frequency scale to be spaced closer together at the eigenfrequencies, thus allowing detailed definition of the response close to resonant frequencies and more accurate integration. Loads, the loading for random response analysis is defined in general terms by the cross-spectral density matrix where F is frequency in cycles per time and the subscripts N, I, and M, J. Refer to degree of freedom I at node N and degree of freedom J at node M, respectively. Distributed loads are converted to equivalent nodal loads, which, for the formulation of the correlation matrix, are treated in the same way as concentrated point loads. In addition, any amplitude references on the concentrated point, connector element, or distributed load definitions are ignored in a random response analysis. For boundary conditions, it is not possible to prescribe non-zero displacements and rotations directly as boundary conditions. Boundary conditions in abacus standard and abacus explicit in mode-based dynamic response procedures. Therefore, in a random response analysis the motion of nodes can be specified only as base motion, non-zero displacement, velocity, or acceleration history definitions given as boundary conditions are ignored, and any changes in the support conditions from the eigenfrequency extraction step are flagged as errors. In addition, any amplitude definitions are ignored in a random response analysis. <laughs> 